So this was your co-terminals, your uh, quadrant, the your converting from ra from degrees to radians, from radians to degrees, complement and supplement, and then your um, arc. Measure the arc. Thirty. Yep. So thirty is two pi over twenty one. To find the complement, we do my pi over two minus the angle. So two pi over twenty one. I'd have to multiply this by 21 and this by 2, so it has a like denominator. So 21 pi over 42 minus 4 pi over 42, and I get 17 pi over 42. That's your complement. And then your supplement would be pi minus 20, or 2 pi over 21. So this is 21 pi over 21, and that's 19 pi over 21. Remember, if it's bigger than a half, no complement. Bigger than pi, no supplement. Any other questions from this page? Yeah. Eight. Yep. So it says, sketch the angle in standard position, determine the quadrant which the angle lies, and list one positive and one negative coterminal angle. So 210, I mean, the benefit of something like that and you adding the angles onto your unit circle today is I can look at my unit circle and know that 210 is in the third quadrant because I would have, on your unit circle, you'd have 180, and then you'd have 210. So that's on your unit circle. Without knowing that, you would just know that it's bigger than 180 and smaller than 270. And then to find the, co the positive and negative coterminals, we're either adding 360, so it'd be 570, or we're subtracting 360, and it's a negative 150. So one positive, one negative. Other questions from the first page? Second page, now we're in 4243. Questions on any of these? Trig functions of an angle using your coterminals. Trig functions given a, uh, an actual uh, ratio. And then the calculator part. Yeah. 74 says the cosine of theta is two thirds. Okay. First of all, it doesn't say anything about, there's no other piece of information. So remember, there's two types here, ones in which they live in the first quadrant, where if they only give you one piece of information, that's what you're assuming. The other's where it can move outside. So a move outside would be something with a coordinate point that has a negative involved, or it would give you another piece of information to tell you secant is this, or I'm not secant, but cosecant is this, or sine is this, whatever it is, and then you'll know which quadrant it's in. If it only gives you one piece of information, I know I'm in the right quadrant. So I literally can make a triangle hypotenuse. So this is 2 and this is 3. Missing side would be 2 squared plus x squared equals 3 squared. x squared is 5 and x is the square root of 5. Theta's here. What is happening? So sine is opposite over hypotenuse, cosine already have, it's adjacent to hypotenuse, tangent is opposite over adjacent. And then we flip them. This would be three over root five, which gets rationalized. This would be three over two, two over root five, which gets rationalized. 92, this, so this is where it's different. Now I've got a sign on the tangent that's not positive and information about another trig function. So I know this moves around your unit circle. So if my tan is negative, that means I'm looking in the second quadrant and the third quad I mean in the fourth quadrant. And then from there, where your sign is positive would only be the second quadrant. So I need to move to the left. Sorry. That's okay. Sorry. That's okay. So I'm moving left and up. My tangent is 12, which is opposite, 5, which is adjacent. And after you label the lengths, you would have to figure out which one is negative. Because I moved left. I know that the adjacent side is the negative one, so the 5 gets the negative. Your triple would be 13, 5, 12, 13, which means your hypotenuse is 13. And then it says to find the rest of the five trig functions. So sine, 12 over 13, cosine, negative 5 over 13. I have the tangent. Cosecant, 13 over 12. Secant negative 13 over 5, and cotangent would be the reciprocal of what it originally gave you, negative 5 over 12. So use the information given to move it into the quadrant it's supposed to be, and then complete your triangle.